Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel, it's Larisha Andrea, and I am finally giving you guys another coloring video. It has been forever since I can even get blonde hair, shawty, but I'm finally giving you guys a video. So off camera, I just went ahead and did the base of the wig, and I use the Adore Dye in Indigo Blue. I'm also going to be using three colors from Kiss. I went ahead and used Atomic Pink, Hawaiian Punch, and Neon Orange to do this gradient sunset bowl of type of inspired wig so like I said I did go ahead and do the base of the wig indigo blue it was nothing special all I did was just put blue all over the roots of the hair and I brought it down about four inches and then I'm gonna go in with the color atomic pink to do as a transition shade from the blue into the pink because the atomic pink has a slight um, undertone of like a blue pink kind of I don't really know how to describe it but the undertone of this pink is definitely like a blue hue and then I'm gonna go in with the Hawaiian punch I believe that's what it's called don't quote me but I will leave everything down below as far as what colors I use and then when I'm done with the Hawaiian shade then I went in with the shade neon orange from kiss colors I'm just gonna go ahead and just let you guys vibe out for this section because because it's like sort of kind of therapeutic just for me to watch me do colored wigs and you guys love when I do this part as well because it's just so calming and just mad therapeutic so I'll be back when I have gone ahead and rinsed out the entire wig or when I'm moving on to my next color because I did leave out a section in the front of the wig Oh. 
So like I said, I'm going to be using a color to do in the front of the wig. I just wanted something that was going to be a good contrast to the deeper dark blue that I had in the back and for pretty much the base of the entire wig. So I decided to take some Adore Powder Blue and put that in the front of the wig. I know it definitely does not look powder blue right now. That's exactly what I said when I first was putting this on my wig. I was like, this is supposed to be like a very light, delicate Tiffany blue and it is purple lavender what is going on honey but eventually as it decided to dry and later on when i let the hair sit it did end up turning like that powder blue that it did have in the front of the bottle so you guys know I always let my wig sit for a minimum of eight hours. Why is that? It's because the longer you let your wig sit with the dye, the more vibrant, the more bright, the more the hair color will penetrate in the hair. And also you have to make sure you're using some good hair. Honey, I am using the Indian Temple Raw Blonde Hair from Chambray Hair. This is like the third, fourth, the fifth, sixth, seventh time I've used their hair in all of my videos. Why? Because number one, they're a black owned company and number two they have been like the only company that has been able to supply me with hair for my videos how can i continue to make videos for you guys if i don't have hair to do anything with you know what i mean so definitely shout out to chambray hair so i'm going to be using a new product to do for my um install today i'm going to be using the bold hold liquid gold i'm sure you guys have seen this from other influencers i'm sure you guys have seen this all over the internet this has been going absolutely viral 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 lately because it's a new product on the market and it's very different and very new so the way that the hair diagram who is the owner of bold hold this is a black owned company she describes this as a glueless install so it's not a hairspray it's not a lace adhesive it's not anything that's going to be really damaging to your hairline or damaging to your hair it's just a new alternative to laying down your installs so I'm going to be taking the bold hole skin protectant to use as a base for when I lay down the liquid gold and I'm just going to put a very thin layer of the liquid gold on my hairline I'm going to let that dry for about 15 seconds with my blow dryer and then I'm going to move on to putting down my lace so the best way I can really describe this product is it's like a gel consistency but it doesn't feel like a gel meaning it's not sticky it's not really hard to work with and I feel like it dries pretty good on my hairline when I tell you guys this becomes like cement on my hair it is literally cement on my hairline I can't wait to continue to try out this product this is actually my first time it's like my first impressions of me trying this out and the one thing that I do love about it is that it's not messy so even though it's like a gel consistency it doesn't have the stickiness as a regular gel would be like got to be or any other type of gel type of product to lay down your lace that is personally why I like this product so much like I said I want to continue to play around with this product a little bit more in my videos using it to lay down any of my other wigs and yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and just install the rest of this product on my hairline I'm gonna cut my lace a little bit more on my ear portions and when I pretty much have my wig laid down I will come back and explain what else I'm going to be doing
So I'm just gonna be taking that same skin protectant from Bold Hold, and I like to describe this as like a deodorant for before product and after product. I like it before products because it takes up the oiliness on my hairline to make the Bold Hold liquid gold stick a lot better to my hairline. And then I also like to take that product again just to take up any excess residue that I have from the liquid gold or any other product because it takes it away without lifting the hairline, lifting up the product, and just having a mess. And I'm going to be doing a pull test for you guys on camera. The best way to know if a product really works is by um, tugging on the air portion and doing the air portion. The air portion is always the first thing that comes up and that's how you'll really know if a product is good or not because the air portion is definitely going to be the first place it's going to start lifting. And you guys can see that this is snug. Like I said, I want to continue to use this product a little bit more, but honestly, you guys, first impressions, it is amazing. If you guys don't want to use a hairspray, if you don't want to use a lace adhesive and you want something that's glueless i definitely recommend you guys to check it out and get it tf asap because like i said it sells out in a matter of minutes every single time she drops it so i'm just gonna go ahead and curl the rest of my hair i have worn this wig a couple times off camera but i'm gonna be using my t3 curling iron i believe this is a one and one and a half inch curling iron but i'm just gonna be curling it on camera doing my little style and then i will come back when everything is done pretty much concludes the entire tutorial I just went ahead and took my comb and just combed out all of the curls um I love this hair I've been loving 
any of the season one or season two hair that chambray hair has been sending me it's like no other blonde i've ever had in my entire life like it's like a next level type of blonde the best blonde i've ever used again it is a raw blonde indian hair and you're not going to get this from aliexpress honey no you are not also i am loving the bold hold liquid gold for my first impression and my first time using this on camera which is a huge a huge risk because sometimes these products don't be working honey and i'd be embarrassed myself on camera but it has it i'm i'm in awe i'm in awe like i said i want to continue using a lot other of my videos just to see like the limits you can really go with this i want to know how long i can really work Wear this throughout the days if I can wear it for one day two day three days if it works good in humidity or anything like that so I really want to test the limits on this product and yeah this hair came out so bomb you guys can see how vibrant and how rich this color is on this hair so yeah if you guys agree and you love it that much just like I do make sure you guys thumbs up this video because coloring videos are going to be back and also make sure you guys check out bold hole liquid gold because this product is amazing and i can't wait to see you guys in my next one and i love you guys so much bye guys